Hello and welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Sui Chong, and today I'm going to share with you one of the simplest way to actually secure your WordPress website. I'm sure you already heard or my experience yourself that your WordPress website get hacked, and due to WordPress is one of the most popular and being used CMS in the whole world. So in short, the statistics also tell us WordPress have the highest hack uh, chances in the whole world as well. So how do you actually secure? But at the same time, you don't need to go for a PhD in terms of web security, uh, especially in WordPress. Let me show you. Well, first of all, I'm not going to show you 100% uh, hack proof, okay? I'm just going to share with you that there's a plugin can actually achieve um, the security standards and practice by just going through the wizard. So that's how you actually get uh, made easy, which means um, sometimes you do know certain things need to be set. Uh, in your default WordPress that you should avoid it, uh, leave it the default way. Okay, one of the one of the great example is, uh, I'm sure you all know that uh, one of the way to access a WordPress backend is put slash wp dash admin, right? But do you know this is also one of the um, opportunity for hacker to actually try to log into your backend login? Try to access your backend login and keep trying admin password and indirectly okay i would say it's 100 percent can be hacked by that just like that but you actually give a chance to the hacker to actually comes to your door and try to break it so one of the best way is actually just change your wp dash admin to something else so normally the the so-called or uh, common hackers out there what they try to do is they're actually using brute force method um, to try to guess your password but before that they need to know where is your login page right so if your login page is a default one which is wp admin i'm sure everyone can guess it they will write a program you know just try to go to your wp admin and keep trying using different username perhaps or um, especially uh, using mutations of uh, the password to try to guess your password. So one of the best ways to avoid it was, uh, actually is, um, just change the wp dash admin to the other one. So that can be done using the same plugin. Okay. Now I'm just going to describe you further. Uh, what are the security practice that you should, you know, learn about this. So let's take a quick look. And um, the one that I mentioned just now is already in my other video. So go and check it out. Okay, so let's go to here. Okay, at first, let me introduce you this guy. It's called Defender. Okay, Defender Security. Basically, is as per the website here in the WordPress repository uh, plugin directory here. Uh, it's a malware scanner. Uh, login, security, and firewall. Keep it this way, okay? Then if you scroll it down, um, you... Okay, what, what are the features of here? Okay, let me go through with you a quick one. Okay, it allows you to have uh, two-factor authentications for any users to log in here. Now, this is the one that I mentioned just now. You can mask your login, so you can change the location of the default login area from wp dash I mean, do something else, okay? Um, you can actually lock out a certain user if you keep trying um, to come to your your uh, uh, when they keep trying to log in here. Okay, by the way, let me check. Okay, I'm still here. Am I recording? Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Continue. Um, that's malware scanner whereby you actually check whether your WordPress core files and modification is is there with unexpected changes. Then they will actually add a security headers. Okay, it's an extra layer for the security uh, to protect a common attacks like XXS, code injection, and more. Okay, so 
Okay, there are 404 detection, so you automatic block the bots of IPs. They will actually update your config so that the security tactic will be ideal. And there's your location IP lockout so that if someone try to, um, you know, uh, keep accessing your website, even though it's human or the bots, they will block through the IP level as well as, uh, you know, allow. Yeah, there are, there, are, there are quite a number here, okay? I, I, I don't want to go, go through one by one. Okay, what I'm trying to say is these are the list of the common WordPress security practice. The more than 80% of WordPress website out there didn't implement it. Okay, more than 80%. When I say more than 80% doesn't mean a single website or for hobby, for individual. I'm talking about enterprise level, uh, WordPress website also have a similar mistakes. So this block in is actually built for you to go through the visit easily and you know fix all these things. So how this works? Okay, let's okay. I don't I don't want to scroll this anymore. Let's go to the real one. Okay, go to your website back end. I'm sure you know how to do it. Search for the defender and then you just um install and activate this block in. Once you activate the plugin, you shall see this guy is called Defender here. So you click on it. If this is the very first time you install this plugin, you shall see this. Okay, um, it's actually asked for you to uh, get started, and then um, it will actually helps you to go through the settings. Okay, rather than you you adjust it one by one. So let me try the first button first. Okay activate and configure okay let's go okay so you shall see here is actually it's done <laughs> you'll be surprised right just like that okay okay i wouldn't say this is the best practice but perhaps you have the basics liquidity practice on your website okay if you want to go through further okay let's you know it's very important for you to number one Go and check it out the malware scanning so that you know that um, there's no vulnerability or injected codes on your WordPress files. On the other hand, okay, if you go to recommendations here, okay, this is pretty awesome. Okay, I, I would say this is the part that you really need to pay attention because the recommendations here is really, really useful. Okay, just click this guy called view all. Okay, or you can go to the sidebar where you can see the recommendations. Okay, here is the part that um, actually helps you to, to implement the security practice um, by just a few clicks rather than go and do uh, you know, the stuff here. Okay, so number one, please disable the file editor so that you know no one else can come into your WordPress website just as an admin as well and actually edit your files from the back end here okay so um it's enabled so you can disable it okay if you want to double check it's actually under here do you see your tools here you have this team file editor as well as plug in file editor okay these two kinds can be turned off okay if you um like i mean if you know that you are not going to use it then why why you want to enable it right so you can disable just like this okay basically you can disable also by go to your you know wp uh, config file and do some editing but if you don't know or, or you just kind of like lazy it's the best way okay the other stuff is you want to prevent um your your information being disclosed so you see some of your config files aren't protected so it's best to lock this down file so that uh, it can't be accessed by attackers and so on so what you can do is just click this guy update the .hts okay and file editor let me disable one more time done and one more thing is prevent a further php execution if you sure i mean if you didn't do any other stuff in your WordPress website, I think it's more than safe for you to turn this off, okay? Unless you see a certain things, okay? Here even actually explain how they actually do it for you, but okay, because my my hosting provider already uh, blocked me from um, injecting the codes into this uh, 
HTASSS. So it's actually asking me to copy this file and go to this part. Okay. Okay. This is a bit uh, troublesome, I understand, but just follow the instruction and you will be fine. The best part is all the security recommendations here is kind of like a checklist and reminder for you so that um, you know what to do, right? Okay. These are the action ones that show you what I've been disabled. Okay, it will keep reminds you from time to time and if you ignore a certain things, for example, I feel like I, I really need this guy, okay, PHP execution, I just ignore it. So it will be in the ignore box and your recommendations have zero right now eh, because everything is fine. Okay, besides that, you can go to the malware scanning, remember this now, um, it's running, okay, and it will actually tell you uh, what are the things that seems uh, seems like uh, something bad or some okay so you can basically delete tools file that you found here but if you're not sure okay feel free to contact the WPM your support team they will actually give you advice and um, I'm talking about if you actually they are members okay you can join their members if you are not perhaps you can actually put your comment in this video and I will do my best to share you know um, best or what you posted but remember before you try to ask me um, copy as much as possible in this of the issue the detail so that I can actually understand uh, what are you facing okay so that is something I can help you and besides that you have this guy called audit login so you know that uh, who is logged into your website and so on but this is need to be the pro version but it's fine let's look at a firewall yep this guy is perfect because you actually will stop the hackers from keep randomly guess you log in so if five times log in uh, you will block them for a certain time okay things like that and then 404 detection as well ip banning will actually block a certain ip if they keep trying to assess you and then uh, user agent banning you know th this guy is already there to help you to protect your website it's, wonderful right okay then this uh, 2fr is two factor authentications you just activate and then you just go through the on-screen instruction it's pretty simple okay if you face problem here let me know okay but make sure uh, you really have your phone uh, is, is activated or the you know like Google authenticator as well as the Microsoft authenticator so make sure you have that um, then comes to the tools um, they have some ah this is the guy that I mentioned uh, mass login area if you want to learn more about this part go and check it out in my another video okay and the security headers here is actually try to configure so that you will disable um you know uh, uh certain things so for me usually what I do is uh <laughs> I will enable Okay, it's really up to you whether you want to enable or disable. If you're not sure about it, okay, I'm going to go through it in another video because this guy is quite technical. Okay, but the best thing is what I'm trying to say here is you can do it by just one button. You know, take and save. Okay, it's pretty simple. So to to provide a security headers doesn't um you you don't need to do the coding anymore then you can protect your site against the password leak okay you can activate and then it will check for you and then it will force a password reset for all the users okay if you want and you can have google recapture here to activate it there are so many features here right basically you just um, go through all the features here and you are safe okay then comes the setting i think nothing much here and voila i think that's all So you realize uh, everything that I actually share with you is actually by on-screen instructions and by wizard, by all the settings is not really a coding, right? Okay, that is the wonderful thing about WP or MU or produce plugins like Defender like that. Okay, then definitely if you upgrade to the pro version, you have further uh, uh, further features right okay so it's really up to you when you go for pro or not for me i'm since i'm a you know as a web agency i definitely go for the pro version because 
Their pro is not, not just for the plug-in, but in fact, it's a membership suit. They provide great support. Yes, I'm talking about international. Great, great, great support. You wouldn't regret okay, to contact them via the live support. Okay, it's a live chat support. And then they have a suit of uh, plug-ins. Then um, because of the membership, you can get a free credit to their hosting, which is yeah pretty awesome. Okay, one thing I want to emphasize here is okay, what you see in this tutorial. Okay, the only editing I do is insert all the captions, right? Yeah, the, you know, you see the very colorful gradients background with certain keywords there to explain that particular scenes. Okay, besides that, I didn't ng or I didn't actually cut it out. So that's why you will see I actually double check using uh, because I'm recording the video using OBS, so I want to double check whether I'm, I'm still recording and so on. The reason I didn't cut it out is I want to show you this is the uh, first hand and original way of doing. Okay, there are a lot of tutorials out there that show you the perfect editing version that they actually might face a certain problem in between the steps and then they just cut it out so that it looks like it works perfect and smooth okay wow in technology simplicity youtube channel i can ensure you i didn't cut it out if even i make a mistake so this is why if you look back to my tutorial video you might find a certain parts that is actually quite funny and yes i i'm, I'm not saying that i make mistake in the past but sometimes i'm just feel like okay i'm lost and i wish which one i should continue to share you know? sometimes just like that okay so i didn't cut it out and that's why okay so please do me one great favor if you love this video and you learn something put a like subscribe to my channel is really a big help and put a ring so they get notified every wednesday and sunday at 15 pm once for go digital live on wednesday and tutorial like this on every sunday at 15 pm thank you so much for watching technology bcd youtube channel my name is jay my name is jay chong signing off see you again and stay home stay safe bye bye